Hey, welcome back, everybody. So today we're heading out the inlet. I'm actually in my boat today. A lot of you probably don't even know that I have a boat, but I have a 20-foot bay rider. It's a very nice boat. I just happen to think for 98% of the fishing I do that a kayak is a superior vehicle to do it. So today uh, we're not even out the inlet yet. We're going out for Spanish, Albies, Kings, uh, whatever we can get a hold of. Uh, but we weren't even out the inlet and started spotting fish. As soon as we get out the inlet, this is what we see. I'm going to show you a little clip right here of what it looks like up close, but you couldn't go even 100 yards without seeing this. The whole ocean was just exploding. It really turned out to be an awesome day. Yeah, it was a really good day. So this was my first cast. Uh, not long after this, the fish actually, they gave us some trouble, but we got them figured out pretty quick. Every day, man. Oh, no. I brought a rod that has almost no line on it. I'm in trouble. Oh, I'm on. I'm going to have to really tighten down on him. Hey, Dave, turn the boat to the left for me, please. Can you turn the boat to the left so we don't hit this other boat? Other boat left. Oh, it's a nice Spanish, actually. A nice Spanish. Um... Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, right there, right there behind us, man, right there behind us. Can I just turn this thing to off? Yeah, yeah. <sighs> Dang, I can't even, I can't even hold on to it, man. That's a nice Spanish still. Actually, you gave a rare cooler seat. Well, that first fish right away made it look like the, the metal bite was going to be on, but we actually ended up switching to trolling because they weren't really into the metal like we expected them to be when we knew there was tons around. So we threw out Yozuri Deep Divers, uh, the clown color and the smaller Yozuri Deep Diver did the best for us. And then a uh, number one planer with a silver Clark spoon about 10 feet behind it. So if by chance you're not familiar with using the planers, uh, when you put the planer down, it's in a certain position that makes it kind of dive and put a lot of resistance against the rod. And when a Spanish hits the spoon, if you watch the tip of the rod here, it'll trigger it and make it pop up. So right there, see how it kind of raised a little bit? You saw a little shake and then it raised. So uh, that's that's your indication that you got a Spanish on. And we actually don't realize it for a minute. It is. Brian, you wanna grab this thing? I think we got a fish on. All right, so you're about to see right here the reason I really don't like to use the, the heavy rod with a planer on it, even though sometimes it's just it's the best way to catch the Spanish. You gotta hand line these guys in. It really just takes the fight, the sport out of it. Uh, but it is a very effective way to catch fish. I I have the Yozuri Deep Diver out, and today it was working just as good, and it's a lot more fun to catch them. Wow, I mean, it is what a has he got? It's also a boat gap. It's either a giant Spanish, a king, or an Albi. Oh, you wanna move towards the front? This is why I hate those planers, man, because now you get down to the handline process. That looks like a albacore. Can you hold on to him? It's a pretty big one. It's swinging. It's swinging there. Yeah, he wants bait for it. Yeah. That's a killer shark bait. Or anything else bait, really. All right, we caught so many fish. I really don't have the time to edit all the footage. I'm just going to throw in, piece together uh, the best I can, the highlight moments of the day, or we really got into the best bites. What, glass minnows or something? I just got hit. Oh, yep, I'm on. There might be something to the smaller profile, man. Because you haven't, you haven't been hit. It's been out a little. Not a bad one at all, for sure. That's the major redeeming factor of Mr. Clark Spoon. You, you on? Yeah, I'm on. He's on. Try to cast cast into him with this thing. I'm on again. <laughs> I just cast it to him. That's a that's a bigger fish. Oh yeah. Oh man. I don't know if I got an Albion or what. If that's a Spanish, he's a monster. He 
he's not really acting like an Albie. He's acting like a big Spanish. Thanks, man. Oh, dude. I just casted this thing into him and got him like immediately. Oh, he's, he's belly hooked. He's belly hooked. Does somebody want to gaff him or something? He's a little, little bit gaff shy. I don't want to lose him. Come on. He wasn't nearly as monstrous as I thought. He was just fouled. He's still nice. Oh. Here, I'm going to try to flip him. Watch out, Dave. Watch out. I'm going to try to flip him. This rod's got the power if I just lock him down and flip him. There we go. Put it in that big blue thing, man. Oh, I got him. Oh, I got him on. Oh no, I'm still locked down. Oh. Oh, he got off. There he is. Oh no, whoa. They're right in front of the they're right in front of the boat again. I'm I'm straight out in front of me. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Get the triple, Dave. You got, oh, I, I, mine just came off again. I'm just like horsing them way too much. Oh, there it is. This is a pretty decent Spanish bite. Oh! Ah. I don't think so. Maybe though. Uh. Yeah, he's fouled. Oh, I just had my hand on the braid for a second there. It was a bad decision. There we go. All right, so there were several points throughout the day where fish would come up and then go back down. And uh, I did figure out that if I just let out a lot of line behind the Yozuri and did a big loop around the fish and pulled that Yozuri back through them, that I could get them on the troll like that. Uh, but we had a lot more fun when we just stopped uh, just short enough of the fish to keep from spooking them and just threw into them. Uh, it didn't get the bites every single time, but uh, it, it was worth wasting a little bit more time to chase them and then get that that good fight instead of especially instead of picking them up on the planer. The cast of these fish is just more fun than trolling around on them. Uh, in the morning, they were actually less receptive to metal jigs thrown to them than they were in the afternoon. Uh, there was no more fish surfacing. They weren't acting any different, but they just started to pick up the jigs. There was definitely hot colors, pink and chartreuse were the go-to colors for epoxy jigs. And uh, I actually got them all cut off, but the best metal to throw to them was the uh, the Big Nick's Spanish candy with uh, some chartreuse on it. I think it's like a, it's a half ounce or a one ounce, uh, but you could really sling it. It's a lot of fun to catch Spanish on it when you're, when you're casting to them, but they will, uh, the, the big ones especially will cut you off. Oh, there he is. There he is. Hey, there's a big school out in front of us too, guys. We're heading towards them. I got him. I'm a nice Spanish man. Wish I had a frick. Yeah, so do I. We're still in them off to the right up here, Brian. How am I not hooked up? How am I not hooked up? How, how, how? Oh, there's so many chasing it right then. Oh, I got him. We got the triple. David still hasn't landed his yet.
you get him by the tail, that's the worst. Oh, that one got away. So I actually forgot to introduce the two guys I'm fishing with. Uh, this guy on the left here that's hooked up right now in this Albi and is about to get absolutely owned. Uh, his name's Brian. He actually has a YouTube channel too, uh, Off Kilter Fishing. He does a lot of really cool stuff for uh, sheep's headed black drum, red drum. Um, and then in the orange shirt there, that's uh, my longtime fishing buddy, David. He's, he's been in a couple of the videos. Uh, I'm not going to let this stuff run too much longer. I think you guys get the idea. Uh, it's a good time to be out there near shore. Spanish Albies Kings. It is all absolutely red hot. And uh, for those of you who are like me and want to actually feel that fight, you're casting metal or you're trolling some Yosuri deep divers. Hey, I've got like an enormous amount of line out. Yeah, I'm getting this guy in. Oh, look. Hey. What? I got the one. That's it. That's it. That's it. Oh. On the verge. Get some. Get some. Oh, oh fuck. Where? You know what it was doing? It was spinning on, on, on my reel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap it up here. Uh, these are the Spanish we caught. We had 22 Spanish and a couple Albies. This is the Yozuri Deep Diver in the clown color that I was talking about. These are Big Nick Spanish candies. Um, and we paired all this with 20-pound Seaguar Blue Label fluorocarbon. Just a couple feet of it's good enough. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you in the next one.